everyone in this tutorial we will discuss few questions on Banal theorem right so look at the first question we have to expand this expression first of all and use this result to evaluate this this is a straightforward question but let us discuss it first we know that how to expand x plus y raised power 6 right using Banal theorem we can say that it is 6c0 x raised power 6 y raised power 0 6c1 x raised power 5 y raised power 1 means the powers of x are reducing and power of second term that means y are increasing right this is x cube y cube then 6c4 x square y4 6c5 x1 y5 and for last 6c6 x raised power 0 y raised power 6 right now we have to evaluate 6c0 6c1 6c2 and 6c3 6c4 6c5 and 6c6 either by using this formula ncr equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial or we can find out these values by using pascal triangle pascal triangle is very easy to frame right how each and every row started with one and end with one right and we have to write the sum here 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 1 3 1 1 4 6 4 because 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, like this. So 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, then 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So because power is 6, so we have to look for this. If we have power 5, then we have to look for this. If you have power 4, then we have to look this. Similarly, now because we have power 6, so that means we are to look at this row only. And what does it mean? 6 is 0 is 1, 6 is 1 is 6, so basically these are the values of these 6 values of combination, right? So we directly put this value, so we can say that x plus y raised power 6, jo aega, wo aega aapka 1, x raised power 6, and then 6, x5, y, then 15, x4, y square, because second wala, then 20, x cube, y cube, then 15, x square, y4, then 6 x y 5 and finally y 6 so you have to us x plus y raised power 6 again now we have to find out x minus y raised power 6 so for that just replace y by minus y here so what happened when the power y ki odd power hai, wo negative ho jayengi. so it becomes negative this remain positive because square head this become negative because odd power hai. then 15x square y4 then minus 6 y5 then y6 now we have to subtract these two so in dono ko subtract kar jate so when we subtract these two the sign change ho jayenge aapke so this term will cancel out this term will cancel out and like this term will cancel out so we have x plus y raised power 6 minus x minus y raised power 6 equal to 2 times because this item double ho jayegi say so 6 x5 y 20 x cube y cube and then 6 x y 5 so you can do more simplify or you can simplify we are seeing that here is 2 further common this is your result we have to evaluate karna tha. right this is the first part of this question that expand using binomial theorem for this expression now we have to use this result to evaluate this so if we look at this result and this result so we observe that x ko 2 over y or y ko 1 put kar denge, the same expression aa jayega so in this equation 1 we are putting x equal to root 2 and y equal to 1 here so what happened we have root 2 plus 1 raised power 6 minus root 2 minus 1 raised power 6 become 2 times 6 x 5 means 2 root 2 raised power 5 into y is 1 so 1 ki power kuch bhi ho 1 hi hota hai isliye hum isko likhte nahi root 2 raised power 3 and finally 6 so root 2 this will simplify kar lete. so root 2 raised power 5 means root 2 5 times so root 2 root root 2 root 2 and root 2 so this gives you 2 this gives you 2 2 to the 4 so that we have it gives you 4 root 2 so root 2 raised power 3 so means these 3 terms so 2 root 2 plus 6 root 2 right so we have 24 root 2 plus 40 root 2 plus 6 root 2 right so we have 40 and 24 and 6 
we have 70 root 2 and overall we have 140 root 2. So we can say that the value of root 2 plus 1 raised power 6 come out to be 140 root 2. So this is your first question and second is part of this question is also based on the same pattern that we have to find out the value of x plus y raised power 4 first of all and x minus y raised power 4 then and use this result to evaluate this. So same expression you solve right x plus y raised power 4 by using final volta we can say that 4c 0 x raised power 4 y raised power 0 4c 1 x raised power 3 y raised power 1 4c 2 x square y square 4c 3 x raised power 1 y raised power 3 and 4c 4 x raised power 0 y raised power 4 we now have to find out the value of these we have to frame a Pascal triangle 1 1 to 1 then 1 1 sum of this 3 3 then 1 1 4, 6, 4, 1. So we have the values of 4C0, 4C1, 4C2, 4C3, 4C4 like this. So ye 1 hoga. So 1 into x4, x4, then 4x cube y, then 6x square, y square, then 4xy cube, and y4. So this is your x plus y raised power 4. Now we want x minus y raised power 4. So replace y by minus y here. So we have x4 minus 4x cube y plus x square y square yeah, as it is right because e1 power hai, 4x y cube and y4. Now we have to add the two results because plus sign is here. So add the sign chain you want to cancel out jayegi, ye term cancel out. Jayegi. So we have x plus y raised power 4 plus x minus y raised power 4 equal to 2 times x4 plus 6x square y square plus y4. So this is your first part. Expression value now we want this. So in this expression, equation 1, put x equal to a square and y is equal to root a square minus 1. So we have a square plus a square minus 1 root whole power 4 plus a square minus root a square minus 1 whole raised power 4 equal to twice, twice of x raised power 4 means this is for 4, so a square is for 4 karenge to ya jayega a8 right by this value plus 6x square x square means square so a is for 4 and square of this a square minus 1 and y4 means this is for 4 so isko square karenge to ya jayega a square minus 1 ka whole square isko simplify karna chahiye to kar sakte a8 this becomes 6a6 minus 6a4 इसको होल स्क्वायर खोल देंगे a4 plus 1 minus 2 a square तो फाइनली आपके पास आ जाएगा 2 a8 राइट प्लस 6 a6 ये दोनों सेम लाइक टर्म है तो इसको कर देंगे 5 a4 minus 2 a square plus 1 सो दिस इज योर द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन तो इन दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस राइट question is based on the different pattern we have to prove this result using binomial theorem we can use this result by pmi but because it is mentioned that it is, we have to use the binomial theorem so we will start with that so in this in this type of question we have to uh, know this concept ki 1 plus x raised power n jo hota hai wo kya ho jayega n c 0 x raised power 0 because 1 raised power n aayega or 1 raised power anything is 1 so hum isko 1 ko likhte rahe n c 1 x 1 n c 2 x square and so on we know this expression a binomial sort of six colleagues sakte there all right now we will use this result here okay say we have uh, find 6 respect to n so 6 respect to n ko hum dik sakte 6 square respect n that means 36 respect n yeah right right so 36 respect n so 36 ko hum kaise banayenge dikte hai so we can write this as 1 plus 35 raised power n. Lick sakte. Now if we compare this and this, we can say that x is 35 here. So by using this identity, we can say that 6 raised power 2n, which is equal to this, come out to be nc0, 35 raised power 0, nc1, 35 raised power 1, nc2, 35 square, and so on, up to ncn, 35 raised power n, right? We need to solve the first two terms only. <coughs> so nc0, nc0 आपने अभी देखा तो पास का टेक्निक से भी देखते हो। First हमेशा one रहती है ना इसका result हमेशा one रहेगा, right? So this is one. nc1 is your n. 
into 35 <coughs> and we know that from here onward the powers of 35 increasing means 35 square 35 cube so on so it means 35 square is the minimum power so we can take this square common from each and every term next me aajayega nc3 35 and so on yani sab mein 30 square to aayega aayega right so we can say that this is 35 n 35 square is your 1 2 2 5 aur isko expression maan lete hain iska result maan lete hain ki kuch m aayega right so 6 raised to 2 n can be written in this form 35 n aur 1 ko idhar le aayenge So we can say that 6 raised to 2n minus 35 n minus 1 is 125 times m. Yani 1225 m means 1225 ka multiple hoga. So this means we can say that 6 raised to 2n minus 35 n minus 1 must be divisible by 1225. So we will solve these type of question in this way, right? Now come to the next part, D part. 2 raised per 5n minus 35, 31n minus 1 divisible by this. So again start with this concept. That 1 plus x raised per n is the same. Nc0 x raised per 0. Nc1 x raised per 1. Nc2 x raised per 2 and so on. Up to Ncn x raised per n. Right. So what do we do? 2 raised per 5n we can write. 2 raised per 5 into n. Means 32 raised per n. और 30 टी को लिख देंगे 1 प्लस 31 रेशियो टू पावर एन लिख सकते हैं राइट अगेन अप्लाइंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी तो हम देखेंगे यहां पे x की जगह 31 आ रहा है तो जस्ट पुट x 31 इन दिस रिलेशन तो वी हैव nc0 31 इज इक्वल 0 nc1 31 इज इक्वल 1 nc2 31 इज इक्वल 2 nc3 31 इज इक्वल 3 एंड सो ऑन लाइक दिस Right, so we need to solve the first two terms. This is 1, so 1 or anything raised to 0 is 1. So 1 plus nc1 is again n. You have to remember that nc1 is always n. You can see the first term is always n. First term is n. If there is power 2, then the first term is 2. If there is power 3, then the first term is 3. So the second term is 3. Right? The second term is always n. So it becomes n into 31. Plus, from here we observe that 31 raised to the power are increasing. तो मिनी पावर इस 31 स्क्वायर तो 31 स्क्वायर कॉमन ले लेते हैं तो कि ये हर एक में आएगा एंड सो ऑन लाइक तो दिस इस 1 प्लस 31 एन प्लस 31 स्क्वायर इस 961 इसको हम लिख सकते हैं म बिकॉज़ ये कुछ टर्म आएगी इसको हम कोई पॉजिटिव टर्म एम मान लेते हैं बिकॉज़ टर्म्स ऐड हो रही है तो is equal to 961 times m so we can say that 2 raised per 5n minus 31n minus 1 is it divisible by is divisible by 961 so this is your second part right part we have 2 raised 3 raised per 2n plus 2 minus 8 and minus 9 again going for this property okay, 1 plus x raised per n agar hota to yahan aega aapke bas nc0 x raised per 0 nc1 x raised per 1 and so on but अगर हम इस क्वेश्चन में देखें तो we want three raised per two n plus two इसमें अगर हम two common ले लेंगे because power में same रहना चाहिए यहाँ पे term तो हम लिख सकते हैं इसको nine because three square raised per n plus one और nine को ले सकते हैं one plus eight raised per n plus one तो इस power में n plus one चाहिए होगा तो उसका identity को हम change कर देंगे one plus x की पर n plus one हो जाएगा आपका n plus one c zero x raised per zero n plus one c one x raised per one n plus 1 c2 x raised power 2 and so on or last one n plus 1 cn x raised power n right we will use this property here so let us start with this okay, 1 plus 8 raised power n plus 1 chahiye so we observe kar rahe hai x yaha pe 8 hoga so put x equal to 8 here so we have n plus 1 c0 8 raised power 0 n plus 1 c1 8 raised power 1 n plus 1 c2 8 raised power 2 and so on and up to n plus 1 c n 8 raised to power n plus 1 8 raised to the power n plus 1 यहाँ पे भी n plus 1 तक जाना चाहिए because ये तो match करेगी n plus 1 right again we need to solve only first two terms तो ये one हो जाएगा is n to the power zero is one and n c one आपका n होता है तो उसी ये वे में n plus 1 c one जो होगा वो n plus 1 हो जाएगा because ये same आता है तो हम इसको ले सकते हैं n plus 1 into 8 
and we observe that minimum power of 8 is 2 2 a so which can be taken common the 8 square is 64 can be taken common because iske baad har term mein power square to aayega 3 4 to sab mein minimum power 2 hai so we have 1 plus 8 n plus 8 plus 64 and let us assume that this result is m right and this is your 9 raised power n plus 1 this can be sakte hain 3 raised power 2 n plus 2 Right, so 8n goes the line, so 3 raised power 2n plus 2 minus 8n, 1 and 8 is 9. So minus 9 equal to 64 times m. So we can say that this 3 raised power 2n plus 2 minus 8n minus 9 is a divisible by 64 here, right, using binomial theorem. Right, now come to the next part. This is 3 raised power 4n plus 1 plus 16 and minus 3 is divisible by 256 same logic we shall but here we have a little question tricky so we will start with this 3 raised to the power 4 and plus 1 can be written as 3 into 3 raised to the power 4 and right? 3 into 3 raised to the power 4 and so here we will write this first we will try to remove this result ki value so here we will not come here 3 raised to the power 4 and we can write 3 raised to the power 4 whole raised to the power n 3 raised to the power 4, you will know what is 3, 9, 27, 81. So this will be 81 raised to the power n, right? 3 raised to the power 81 will come. So we will write this from the same concept. 1 plus 80 raised to the power n. And we will write this in the formula. So 3 will come out. So nc0, 80 raised to the power 0. nc1, 80 raised to the power 1. And nc2, 80 raised to the power 2 and so on. And last will come nc and 80 raised to the power n. This is a quite a tricky one question, right? So obviously we have 3, 80 raised to the power 0 is 1, nc0 is 1. So we have 1 plus n into 80, right? And from here we have 80 square common. So nc2, nc3, 80 and so on up to ncn, 80 raised to the power n minus 2. टू कॉमन ले लिया, राइट? तो यहाँ बचेगा आपका थ्री वन प्लस एट्टी एन, दिस इस एट्टी स्क्वायर एंड दिस एक्सप्रेशन मान लेते हैं इसको एम आएगा, लेट अस दिस इज एम, दिस इज योर थ्री एस पर फोर एन प्लस वन ओनली, राइट? बट वी वांट थ्री एस पर फोर एन प्लस सिक्सटीन एन माइनस थ्री, तो क्या करते हैं इसमे� plus 80 into 3 plus 3 into 80 square m and plus that 16 m only term and minus 3 so this 3 3 cancel out this is 240 and 16 240 and 16 256 n plus this is your 3 into 80 square 80 square ko abli sakte 6 4 double 0 m so we observe that 256 can be taken common, 256 common लेंगे यहाँ पे, तो 256 आ जाएगा आपका n, यहाँ पे देखेंगे 256, तो 256 को हम इसको कट डिवाइड करेंगे, 256 को, 256 common लेंगे तो ये आ जाएगा n plus, इसको ले सकते हैं 6400 को, 8 into 8, 64 को और 100 को ले सकते हैं 10 into 10, 2255, तो 8 into 64, 64 120, 256, 256 common आ जाएगा तो बचेगा 5 5 द 25 इनटू 3 75 एम तो वी ऑफ़ ज़्यादा कि 256 से डिविजिबल होगा कि ये टर्म भी एक आ रही है तो इसको लिख सकते हैं 256 पी तो वी कैन सेय दैट 6 रेश पर 4 एन प्लस 1 प्लस 16 एन माइनस 3 इस डिविजिबल बाय 256 राइट ये हम अप्रूव करना था तो ये थोड़ा डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट था एस तो गेन वी विल यूज दैट कंसेप्ट कि वन प्लस एक्स रेश पर एन जो होता है दैट इज एन सी जीरो एक्स रेश पर जीरो एन सी वन एक्स रेश पर वन एन सी टू एक्स रेश पर टू एन सो वन एन सी एन एक्स रेश पर एन राइट तो वी वांट सिक्स रेश पर एन तो सिक्स रेश पर एन कैन बी रिटर्न एस वन प्लस फाइव रेश पर एन तो इ n c n 5 raised power n so we need to solve only first two terms so n c 0 1 5 raised power 0 is 1 
n c1 is n into 5 and we observe that 5 square is common from remaining terms so n c2 plus n c3 into 5 and so on up to n c n 5 to the power n minus 2 right so this is your 5 n and we can say that this is 25 times some term this is common m this is your 6 n now we want 6 raised to the n minus 5 n only so 5 n go either line so we have 6 raised to the n minus 5 n equal to 1 plus 25 m so we observe that 6 raised to the n minus 5 n come out to be 1 plus 25 m right now we know a property in, we have read in class 10 a any a and b if a and b are any two numbers then a can be written as bq plus r where we can say that b and a are the number q is the quotient r is remainder so if we compare this then we can say that this expression a is divisible by 25 this is the quotient and one is a remainder so we can say that 6 is for n minus 5 n leaves the remainder remainder 1 when divisible by 25 this we have to prove this question can also be asked prove that 6n minus 5n minus 1 is divisible by 25 so in this case 1 goes away and 25 m goes away and that is divisible by 25 now come to the last part 9 is for n plus 1 so again we will use this property that x1 plus x keeper n plus 1 goes away n plus 1 c0 x is for 0 n plus 1 c1 x is for 1 and so on up to n plus 1 c n plus 1 x is for n plus 1 so x we will put 8 here so that 9 will come here 9 raised to the n plus 1 can be written as 1 plus 8 raised to the n plus 1 If we have x to 8 put, then we have n plus 1 c0, 8 raised to the 0, n plus 1 c1, 8 raised to the 1, n plus 1 c2, 8 raised to the 2 and so on Up to n plus 1 c n plus 1, 8 raised to the n plus 1 So we need to solve only first two terms, so this is 1, this is n plus 1 into 8 And here 64 is common because 8 is all the common n plus 1 c n plus 1 8 is for n minus 1 if you don't write it, you can leave it so you can leave it and dot it because it's plus so we have 1 plus 8 n plus 8 plus 64 times m this is your 9 n plus 1 8 times either 9 is for n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 1 over 8 equal to 64 m so we can say that 9 is for n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 is divisible by 64 right this we have to prove so i hope that this type of question can be solved by you very easily right so just you have to practice these questions thank you